another short update. As you can see, we are at home right now, and uh, oh, hope she doesn't wake up right away. Okay, um, Rue has a pretty bad um, ear infection on both sides, and she got an antibiotics now. Uh -huh. Yes, and um, she already got in it twice today, and I hope you can help her some because she's not doing very well right now. Um, we went to the hospital because of her stomach issues. Uh, as I told you before, she had got this reflux and um, uh, problem with the stomach acid going up in her throat and um, damaging her throat. And it's really painful for her and it's also affecting her stomach. And she got medication for this and got medication as a her stomach so she can't go for several of dates and therefore she gave my medication to help her um, to make it easier for the poop but uh, that one makes it gives her lots of pain it takes like uh, the last one she had a lot of pain on and off all over the, over the day so I was going to try this new medication and she got it like a week and a half ago and it doesn't give her pain all over the day, but after like 20 minutes after she had her medication, um, it started to hurt, and it could hurt for like three, four hours in a row, and she just screams, and it's pretty awful, and then she just woke up. Oh, oh, The doctor is on vacation this week, as I said before, and um, uh, the doctor said that the hospital don't want to do anything about her medication right now, so she has to take this medication that hurts so bad over the weekend, and it totally breaks my heart. Uh, what also makes me feel really bad is that this ear infection must have hurt pretty badly but she hasn't reacted to it because I guess she's just simply so used to being in pain that it has to be really really bad for her to react and that is quite heartbreaking to think about but it's nothing I can help her with but I wish it was because it's awful to know that child is in pain so much so often and yeah it's really it's really rough. So yeah, that is what we're gonna do tonight. I she's gonna sleep, hopefully, and I'm gonna watch over her because I'm really worried. I will let her sleep in my bed because I want to keep her close when she's like this. And um, yeah, that's just her and me at home. Uh, and I broke up with her boyfriend, and then they get back together again, and now everything is apparently fine. But her boyfriend lost his job so now we're just spending a lot of time at his place at his or at his pet's place so I won't see her for the whole weekend and uh, Saga is in Lean Shopping at a cosplay uh, con cosplay con I think you say that it's a convention in Swedish but that sounds really odd in English but I think it's the correct word oh anyway she's there um, all weekend, and apparently there will be like a Swedish mastership of um, Swedish master of uh, cosplay at a place she is right now. So we're gonna send it on the Swedish television, and uh, I promise to watch it. And I think it's on Sunday. I'm gonna ask. I have to call and ask her, so don't miss it. But um, I hope she's doing really fine. Oh, and she also has this um, other issue, a medical issue, which makes me really upset because uh, she has been suffering from depression and from uh, problems with sleep, problems with her throat and she also starting to lose a lot of hair and when she was seeing her doctor about her knee and about her asthma he took some uh, sample, samples and he found out that she has a severe lack of vitamin D and she's getting vitamin D extra but this winter has been more, even more darker and 
some less, how you put it, than normal in Sweden. So a lot of people have problems with this, uh, lacking of vitamin, vitamin D, and also because uh, of the dark skin, she needs way more vitamin D than others, than, or than Iron Girl does. So and uh, now she needs this um, medication for it, a lot of it, and a very strong medication for uh, quite some time now. And um, it makes me upset because we, we've been seeing a psychiatrist uh, about how she feels about things and so on. And sure, she needs that too, but I had assumed that they had done those you know, physical checkups because they told me they had. But apparently they haven't because, or not everything, they haven't checked things like that. And it could explain a lot of her issues. And um, it makes me angry because she now she's been suffering from all of this and feeling so bad for such a long time when maybe she hadn't needed to feel that way. And it, yeah, it quite pisses me off. Sorry. Uh, but yeah, I hope she's gonna feel much better now. And I hope that we're gonna feel better. And as Anna is back with her boyfriend, she's gonna feel better. And as this little sweetheart, we're hiding under my <laughs> cover. She's allowed to sleep in my bed for once. She has also been having a night tonight. Good night, right? Mika? Yeah. I love that dog so much. She turned seven this uh, February, 1st of February. So she's getting old. Yeah, an old dog. So, well, that was it. I hope you're having a nice time. Oh, just one more thing. Uh, I have an, an issue with uh, the channel. My laptop broke down and I have to, I can only log in for, over the phone. And I can't read comments uh, over the phone. I have no idea why, but I can't. But uh, I will try to log in at uh, one of my daughter's computers soon. And uh, I hope you feel like commenting <laughs> on my small video clips. And also, uh, feel free to. Uh, follow us at Instagram. I update there sort of times a day, and uh, it would be nice to be able to follow some of you too there if you have accounts. So, thank you for watching and bye.